Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with my Let's Play of Monster Train. So, we're still working on trying to get this uh, Hellhorn slash Awoken uh, level 25 victory. Okay, so we've got a Welder Helper. Mm, Branding right, okay. Well, uh, terrible cards, I guess. Uh, Alright, this is um, potentially very, very powerful, so we'll go with that. Doesn't help us in the first fight, but um, uh, it's pretty good overall, I think. And we'll go with this guy. Uh, hopefully, with demons, we'll have enough multi strike going on. Alright, uh, and here, even though I'd very much like the unit draft, um, I don't think we can beat Armor 10 uh, with only 40 higher health, so I'm going to skip this. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's the, the those crossbow guys uh, do too much damage, and you, if you can't use torches to get rid of them, they just they destroy your pyre. Alright, uh, well... Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to get the kill here to get his slay trigger going, but uh, got too too much stuff going on. All right. Uh, Does five damage, but uh, overall it's going to be, you know, uh, beneficial. Uh, and then we can restore. Okay. All right. Well, I think we want to kill this guy. So we're making it out of this first fight without, uh, without any pyro damage. Hopefully we'll get our uh, our demon uh, and the next, you know, unit choice. All right. Um, I, th I mean, this will be good with multi striking, but um, it's expensive. So I think I'll go with Fortify for right now, because we always have a uh, problem trying to keep our guys alive. <sighs> and I'm going to go with Glimmer again, even though it keeps not working. Um, <laughs> like, I think we need something, so... Alright, so we're going to go this way, and let's hope for a demon. Alright, and we got two demons. Uh, I think... Hmm. I mean, this guy's a better tank. This guy... That does more damage, obviously. I'm gonna go with the Horned Warrior. And we'll see what kind of uh, options we can get in here. Okay. Large Stone Horned Warrior, I think, is pretty good. Uh, and I'm even gonna... Give him this, and now we've got a tank. Okay. So that was expensive, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better about our setup now. And 
in fact, I think I'm going to turn this on. Sort of the uh, the key blocking thing is like not having anything that can take the hits, but ah, that's so only size four now. Um, so let's set up on. Uh, I forgot to check to see uh, if they were going to bring haste people. Uh, but I think this makes sense to set up where we can actually do damage. Yeah, might as well kill these guys while we can. Although, you know what? I probably should have left the healer alive. We would have got another slight trigger for our champion. Alright, that's all fine there. I think let's just get rid of this guy. Well, it would end up doing the same amount overall because he would encant and do more damage, so getting a point of regen <laughs> is useless. Oh yeah, and we're also not even going to get the slate trigger because uh, <laughs> this guy has 45 and that's exactly the amount that he does. Alright. Still, I mean, hey, you know, if we're getting the win, we're going to get the win, so uh, nothing to complain about. Um, so, I mean, I like the armor from Wilder Helper, but uh, the capacity capacity is such a problem. Um, I'm going to take this because I think it will eventually be useful. I'm going to skip those. Uh, what are they like here? I mean, I guess the Branded Warrior. Right? I mean, uh, because of this thing, I'm trying to restrict myself to focusing on demons. Um, I think this guy just works a little better. The chaos that this guy causes by knocking people around, I think sometimes, you know, it's, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, so... Um, okay, getting more upgrades would be good, but another unit would also be good. So I'm going to go this way. Uh, hmm. So this... This is tempting because there are some demons that are very uh, expensive to summon. Right, like uh, Consumer of Crowns, I think, is a demon. There's a demon fiend who's four. Um, and we did just get an expensive spell. And But this is good for, you know, the extra ember. But I, so I guess, uh, unlike with Melting or Umbra, we're we would only get this in the early game. I'm going to take Volatile Gauge 
I think it's a sort of a risky play, but... Um. Alright, well, I think we're going to take Alpha Fiend. He's already got some multi-strike. If we can get him get more, it'll be even better. Oh. Well. I think we're going to make copies. <sighs> of our Horned Warrior? Uh, and he's our best card. And the other alternative would be maybe um, Ritual of Battle. I think if you get this event, I think you have to go nuts on whatever your best card is. So we're going with him. All right, and then that answer is what we need to do next, because we need capacity. They're not all going to fit. Um, I mean, the other thing is, right, with a lot of units in the deck, then we maybe don't need to be as concerned about keeping them alive, because then we can just bring new ones in. Probably should have looked at how expensive he was going to be. Uh, yeah, you're a branded warrior. Well. Huh. That's a bit of a problem. So, <laughs> do we want our champion out there? without support. Um, so I think, at least for the short term, this will be better, because he'll get the slay trigger when this healer comes upstairs. Uh, and then the Branded Warrior, we can't put up here unless we have a way to kill the bomb, and we don't have a way to kill the bomb, so let's just let him cycle around. expensive. We need to get him out there. Although, I'm going to put one up here on the uh, top floor, because I do want him to get the slight trigger. As well, get the cheapest one. And then heal this guy, I guess. Problem is these guys aren't gonna scale amazingly. I mean they they're doing decent damage now. Um yeah, and this guy's too big to fit anywhere. Again, it's not the end of the world if they die, because we've got more in the deck. Uh, 
So I guess we'll do that. I was trying to see if there was a way to kill the um, this thing up here, but I didn't really see it. Uh, other than we could have used the um, the armor the armor thing that I used on this guy. It would have pierced through the shield, but. Here's our final wave. Uh, oh, and we've already won on this floor. All right, I'll just let it go. I had assumed we were going to have to at least get up to the second floor. is going to be good for us. We have a lot of good units in the deck. So. Um, this guy's pretty good. We'll take him. And we'll see if we can improve on him. And we definitely need capacity. Uh, so now we ought to be able to fit two size three units on our big fours and then a two and a three on the, uh, the small one. Um, Alright, so I don't think we need an Awoken unit. I would like to get rid of our train stewards. Um, let's go over here. Gain holdover. Is there anything we care about holding over? I mean, because of the randomization, I think holdover is not as good as it normally is. Um, and this, I, I've heard that it uh, it works after the the cost randomizer. So I mean, maybe we could do that. But otherwise, I'm not thrilled with these choices. Um, <laughs> Let's just hold on to our money then. Uh, you know what, actually. Yeah, we'll pay for one. One removal. I guess Channel Song has a um, chance of hitting a, an imp as well, which isn't great. So I think just take the bigger sleigh trigger. Even though we're having a hard time getting him in the sleighs. <laughs> I think we'll be a little bit easier now. Now that we can fit him on the bottom floor. Unfortunately, now he has to fit on the top floor because uh, he's size two, and all of our other stuff is uh, size three. So they're gonna do twenty. All right, the Alpha Fiend would not survive. Let's let him kill this train steward, I guess. Warrior, 
obviously you need to go here. <laughs> and then a horned warrior down here is going to be doing some good work. This guy might not have been bad. Probably should have looked at the numbers. Alright, well, we're gonna lose some pyre health up here from these guys. There's not really anything I can do about that. Oh, uh, I might have been able to do something about the collector. I forgot he was up there. Free, so. Hmm. That's. That's an interesting turn of events, huh? Uh, I think we're still better off. One of these guys down here. Uh, I guess let's hold on on him until later. Um, and this guy's gonna. I don't know. I might as well kill him now, rather than letting him uh, propagate up the chain. Or up the train, I mean. So, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, what I'm worried about here is just scaling, because these guys are good now, but, you know, compared to, um, you know, the end boss, uh, stuff, you know, I'm not sure they can, they'll be able to cut it then, but they're, they're what we're going to have in our, in our deck, so. Obviously, they're enough for right now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if you're hearing any background noise from uh, they're mowing the lawn outside. Rage Serum is good, but with a random uh, cost, it's not as good. So I think we'll just skip these. Mm. This could be interesting. I mean, it's going to cost less than two a lot of the time. Um, but I think let's just skip. Yeah, I think with our, our cost randomization and uh, having a bunch of powerful units in the deck, I think it's... Um, it's hard to justify adding some new cards here. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what we would duplicate, so I think we're going to get more out of going this way. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to do this. It's going to be weird, but like we have a lot of good units, so summoning four of them randomly I think will be beneficial. Um, okay, improve the magic power of Glimmer I think is good. Do we care about any of this other stuff? Permafrost, like, do we want to permafrost anything? I mean, basically, if we're if something shows up and it's cheap, we're probably going to want to play it. And if it's not cheap, we probably don't want it to hang around. So, permafrost seems bad. Uh, modifying the cost seems kind of like what's the point? So I guess let's just save our money. take this uh, with the randomization we're probably gonna want to you know be able to spend excess things and I'll have to just remember to like not worry about trying to hyper optimize it and we'll just treat it as something like if we can get an occasional point of health here or there we'll just do it all right um, I think this will be fine Because uh, we're going to have the second floor is already fully stocked with, uh, you know, uh, more than enough to handle anything that they're going to throw at us. So it'll be a question of can we handle the top floor? Probably not, but it'll only be six pyre damage. Alright, well, this is pretty solid here. Um. So let's channel song something. <laughs> and yeah, there's no point in really doing anything else. Um, taken care of. Might as well get an extra one of these guys up here. Yeah, this guy harvests. So let's do that. We can take this guy out and then we'll still get a slay trigger. Yeah, and 
this is all fine. Yeah. Alright, this guy is harvest, so... So that's as good as we can do, and basically we're just trying to wear through the uh, the stealth here. <laughs> we almost got one one attack in, but this should uh, have it handled. Yep. Just fine. Uh, well, we do have some armor, uh, and this at random price, probably pretty good. So I guess let's take that. I like this, and it's gonna have a random price, which isn't as good, but a full heal. better than any of the other heals we have, so. <laughs> Although, I mean, I did, did make that point earlier that maybe we don't need to worry about healing. Um, so let's go this way. We have a lot of money and we haven't been spending it on, upgra on upgrades and more spell upgrades just don't seem that valuable to me. So. Um, huh. These don't seem all that amazing. I mean, this is pretty good. Dazed is, you know, not a not a terrible... Um, I mean, it's terrible for them. <laughs> Alright, so it's good for us to be able to apply it to half of them. Um, I guess we'll do that, and then I'm going to reroll. Like this. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think those were amazing. But I think, you know, our setup of, you know, crazy crazy powerful units is still going strong. I mean, I think they're still powerful relative to um, what the AI is putting on the field, so. Alright, so. Horned Warrior. Is there? Oh, wait, I forgot to check where we're going. Okay, so Hornbreaker Prince is going to have to go up here. with the glimmer. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, 
so. We want, I think, we want a channel song and hope we get a horned warrior. Nope. And we'll think about that in a minute, but I think we want to put this guy down here. Then, all right, this guy is too weak, I think, to want up here. Uh, we'd prefer this guy, but we don't have the ember. And this guy in cans, right? So, yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just leave it like that. So I was thinking about this, but we're, I think we're mostly fine down here, so let's just um, do that. So we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is going. I don't know. I mean, we haven't hit the uh, any kind of inflection point where. We're not, you know, accomplishing what needs to be accomplished, so. Um, are free so we might as well I was gonna go without doing anything but then I saw hey wait a minute the boss is over there <laughs> so, and we're gonna lose the train steward there but I don't think I care So 
let's... Do that, just for the heck of it. And again, I'm gonna go with capacity so we could fit some of these uh, imps on, uh, on our floors. And I think, you know, I still wanna get rid of some of those train stewards. Um, maybe I should have done that I'm back at the shop. Hopefully on the next uh, thing we'll get a card removal. Uh, well, I guess... Hmm. Both, both of these can be good. Um, I'll go with this for the same reason as the, uh, the bone, the shard, or, or I don't know, whatever the thing that heals our pyre, <laughs> whatever that card is. Uh, yeah, capacity is what we want here for the imps. All right, now we don't have a ton of money. Um, we can get some unit upgrades here, but I don't think we really need the pyre health. I'm gonna go this way. We'll get the free artifact, maybe another paid for artifact. Um, hmm. I mean, this is reasonably good. Um, You know, because it occasionally takes out the support the uh, support units, but I'm actually gonna take the money and hope that it's enough to get an artifact we want. All right. Uh, well, these are also not great. Um, I'll take this. Give us a few bites of the apple uh, when we get a chance uh, up, up on the uh, third floor. All right, get rid of train steward and train steward. Uh, I think bigger sleigh trigger is what we want. All right, spell shield two is not that big a deal. Um, this guy giving everybody multi strike is a problem, but I, I, like we're almost out of money, so I'm gonna try this. Maybe it's a, it feels like a very risky play, so it could be, you know, could turn easily turn out to be wrong. But I think most of our damage is coming from our heavy hitting units, so. Okay, so I think we want a Horned Warrior here. And we could do Hornbreaker Prince and a Welder Helper or a second Horned Warrior. So I think. I think I like Hornbrick Prince, Welder Helper, and toss the battering ram. And we get this guy up here. And then we get rid of the imp. <laughs> um. All right, well, 
he's taken care of. He's going to die, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Except maybe take out the one in the back, but I don't really see how. Okay. So, second horned warrior up here makes sense. Eh. Uh. Well, uh, we can get rid of this guy, and I should have done this first before uh, using the heal. Oh, no, he has spell shield. <laughs> that was that was brilliant, Dan. Uh, all right, still, it's fine. So we could channel song, but there's really no space for anybody. Uh, so I guess let's just hold on to that. Um, and we could welder helper. Um, but I'm inclined to just say let's uh, let's bone shine. Torch this guy. Uh, no, we can't because he's got a spell shield too. Is there anyone who only has spell shield one? Nope. Alright. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, hey, wait a minute, we could save our Alpha Fiend, but no. <laughs> Spell shield. Uh, well, So this is maybe too clever a play. Um, no, wait, it's not gonna work. I was, I'm gonna, I was gonna try to torch this guy out of existence so we'd have room to summon someone next turn. Uh, but that would take four ember, which we don't have. No, okay, wait, this will kill. Or this will be enough when combined with the torches. So maybe this is too cute a play. But like I know we have other units um, that are in there. And I was doing that so I can I was can might have put him in the front uh, to tank a hit better before it gets him, but then there's a chance I can Eliminate him and bring another imp next turn, so that's why I did that that way. Alright, so we could risk it with Channel Song, um, but I think 
smarter play is just let's get a horned warrior right here and then uh... yeah so it's probably not ideal that this guy has multi strike and we've got this uh, this imp uh, boosting him. Now we've got every, basically everybody multi-striking here. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to handle this on the next floor. Nope. Uh, close. Alright, this ought to fix it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we got our four hundred gold, which is good. Um. <laughs> The ability to ascend would potentially be interesting, right? We could stack more big units on a floor. Um, hmm. That's maybe too cute, but I'm now that I have the idea in my head, I can't resist it. <laughs> uh, similarly with descend. Um, So that may be, uh, you know, hurting the deck to do that, but we'll find out, I guess. Um, all right, so I'm going to go this way. Uh, we'll get pyre health, potential unit upgrades. I'll check out the artifacts first. Summon. I mean, we have some imps, so this wouldn't be terrible. Uh, pyre health always valuable. Uh, we can't get both of them. All right, and now if we look in here, we can get multi-strike and some HP for our Alpha Fiend. So I think I'm going to do that. Um... Go with that. Right, so we've got 180 left. I think I want to get rid of a train steward. Um, we could. Reroll. I'm not sure what else we care about. Um, I think our branded warrior probably needs more HP than anything else. Oh, the demon fiend can use something. All right, let's just uh, let's just give this to the demon fiend because, well, yeah, uh, we wouldn't be able to afford a multi strike or quake or anything like that. So we'll just do that. And then what do we want to duplicate? It has potential. Alright, I'm going to duplicate Channel Song. So there's a really good chance it's going to hit, you know, a demon unit whenever we cast it, so. Hmm. 
So down here we've got a space for six. Up here, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Space for seven. So I still think what we want. Horn Warrior. Runbreaker Prince. Horned Warrior up here. Alright, I think that works out just fine. Fiend. All right, so first I'm going to try to be clever here. Oh, wait, hold on. So we'll put one horned warrior here. Then we descend him. And then get the alpha fiend up here. And torch doesn't really do anything for anyone. Spike of the Hellhorned. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it's just going to wear off too quickly. So we'll save it for later. Okay, uh, well this guy's dying, uh, which isn't great. Mm, we, well, it's also not terrible, and I think we're going to be able to fix it by doing this. Yeah. Um, this guy's dying, which is also not great. Is there any armor here? No. And there's no space for a channel songed unit. So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like we can do anything else, so let's just do this. Oh, and it was done. <laughs> that was also useless. Hey, good, good job, Dan. Alright, so I'm not happy that that guy died, but getting back to the original idea, like it should be okay for some of our units to die. We've got a lot of them. Well, um, 
I mean, we might as well do this. Yeah, there was a chance that was going to happen. So let's... Uh, do that. Put you in there. And we might as well... Save some HP and put some more damage on the boss by doing that. And our Alpha Fiend gets a few chances to uh, to power up there. So, do we want to ascend in days anything? Yeah, let's... Let's do that. are already at full health. So I do like that our uh, champion is getting a lot of nice slave triggers back there. So... Demon Fiend really can't do anything with these units right now. Uh, so we're going to lose him. Worthwhile. I'll save some damage. So we can do a restoring retreat on something, but then we have <laughs> no, we can't, we can't do restoring retreat and channel song. Because there's not enough ember. Um... There's not enough space to get anything else. Uh, let's. I'm just gonna play this, and we'll have it in the deck. I guess.
Yeah, I wasn't confident enough to just leave the uh, one of these guys up there by himself. So. can do a restoring retreat and get a demon fiend out there so I think we ought to do that uh, so let's do that by sending you down Maybe not doing enough damage here. I guess we'll find out. some good hits in. Um, I don't know, but not feeling super confident here. hundred damage is not bad but <sighs> don't think it quite moves the needle as far as it needs to get moved and we're sort of out of um, uh, like clever moves we can make now and I don't think the two guys in the top are enough to do 2,000 damage Yeah, they're, they're doing substantially less than 2,000 damage. Uh, um, it's a six armor... Give it to this guy because he's a triple striker. Um, yeah. Yeah. It just was not enough. Kind of like what I was worried about from the beginning. Is we, we had a strong deck, but it kind of wasn't getting stronger over time. Yeah, I mean, we also had the problem in this in this run. Um, you know, maybe if I had thought of that idea of doing the ascension and descension earlier, and maybe gotten some um, like permafrosts uh, with the cards we needed. Um, but I think we also just kind of got some bad luck with that. Uh, we just didn't get many opportunities to do it properly in this fight, like that turn where we had like two parts of it but not enough ember, you know. Because I think that was a pretty sound idea, it just it didn't, didn't materialize. Alright, well, got close, but close does not count. So, alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you come back next time. Bye!